Hey there, so I, I went to some graduations this spring, and, and I, I am embarrassed to say that I was in the group that was asking those really horrible, annoying questions, like, so what's next? Like, what did you major in? What are you gonna do now? Do you have a job? You know, those like really just inane questions. So um, I'm gonna offer some responses and creative questions, because I think we can do better than that. I think we need to do better than that for the young people in the world. So I'm Morgan Rich, and one of the gifts that I bring is, is I help young people connect to the dream that lives in their heart. And I think that, that when we get creative with the questions, we can help connect them to that, those dreams as well. One of the mentors that I had was, uh, was uh, he always would ask the question, so how are the children? And I gotta say, the children aren't doing so well. Like they're hurting and they're struggling these days, and a lot of them look like this. And I think the worst part of it is, is, that, is that they're getting blamed for it. And I think we can do it differently so we start to look more like that, because that's happiness. And there's wholeness inside of the young people today. There's wholeness in there that when we get creative with our questions, it's just a metaphor that we can start to help them on the path of self-discovery and help them realize that there is hope in the world, because they're at a crossroads. They've just graduated. I want to challenge you to go into a high school or a classroom these days and find your motivation. It's really hard to do. Right? And they're sitting there going, wow, that didn't feel really good. I want to feel whole in the world. I want to feel whole in the world. And the problem that we have is when we ask bad questions is that they start to doubt that the dream that lives inside of them is real, right? Mary Oliver, one day you finally knew what you had to do and you began. So the voices around you kept shouting their bad advice. And what I would say is the bad advice is, so what do you want to do? What are you doing now? Where are you going? We can do better than that. Because when we don't, and that wholeness inside of them starts to question itself, inside of us, inside of you, you start to wonder, like, am I crazy? Is there something wrong with me? Am I alone in the world? When we ask creative questions like the one we're going to get to in a second, what we do is we give them a beacon of hope that maybe in their life out there, past where they've been, that there's something alive. It matches what lives inside of them, the dream that lives in their heart. Right? David White, enough. These few words are enough. If not these words, this breath. If not this breath, this sitting here. This opening to the life that we have refused again and again until now, until now, right? They're there, they feel it, it's alive, and we wanna throw them some hope. There's only one life you can call your own and a thousand others you can call by any name you want. They are right there wanting to step into the world of something different than what they've gone through, that wholeness, and we can do it. And I promise you, because some of you might see like, like teenagers, you know, they're all like, you know, they're doing their thing. The dream lives in there, it is in there. It's really an exciting time of life. And again, they're right at that precipice where they can fall into like doing everything you're supposed to do. What are you doing now? Or they might go into that place of wholeness. But we have to be there. And when we're there, we can allow them to be in the struggle of being a young person. Because when you're a young person, you don't have the words. You don't know what to say. You don't know how to respond. But it's because it's sloppy. The work of the heart and the dreams isn't like standardized. It's not an SAT test. So what's one of the questions? Ask them, what is a dream that lives in your heart? What is a dream that lives in your heart? And what, do you think you're, what life do you think you're here to live? What fun things are you doing to live it? How did you discover it? Right? What's the hardest thing you've dealt with on the journey? What do you anticipate being the next hard step? Right? There's all kinds of creative questions. What was, the, what was your biggest failure? And what did you learn from it? What was the most courageous thing you did? And what did you do after it? Right? What is the biggest risk that you plan on taking in the next year? What do you think is going to happen if you step into that thing that is really scary to say or do in the world? And then give them a huge gift. Listen. Just listen. Because they might not have the words. They might not know what to say because no one's asking them the question. Right? No one's asking us the question. What is the dream that lives in your heart? We don't get to answer that question very often. And so sometimes there's a silence. And you can just sit and listen to that. And it is an extraordinary, extraordinary gift. And sometimes the same story can look different in different ways, right? You hear the same story twice, but it looks different. So I have a request to you from the young people. The request is to find the life that you're here to live. Because when we are in our lives, living our lives, our questions start to be more creative. And then you can give that gift back to them. And it really is a gift, because then it starts to match what lives inside of them. So what we all want to do, right? Live the life that you're here to live, because all the others are taken. And what we want to do for our young people, and I really encourage all of us to be more creative, because I wasn't that day. 
is to ask the questions that allow the dreams that live inside of them to come alive. I'm Morgan Rich. You can find me there. Thank you so much for being here, for listening. And uh, there's just good stuff going on here. So I'm inspired and, and grateful to be here. Thanks.